Hello guys, I just wanted to put a little disclaimer out before we actually get to the video itself. This is a, a very heated altercation that these two men do not like each other. A lot of pretty bad stuff was said during the course of this video. So if you are below the age of 18, obviously I can't stop you from doing anything, but please don't watch this video. It, it gets pretty bad. Um, if, you, if you're with your kids, just get them out of the room. It gets bad. Um, but for the purpose of viewership, the first opening 10 minutes, we had a, a strange back and forth. I'm happy to actually upload it in its entirety. If that's something that you guys want, let me know in the comment section. But for the purpose of the pleasure of viewing, I've sort of cut that down into a highlight reel. And then eventually I started muting their mics um, and we actually got a conversation going because for a long period of time, it was the two of them just talking over each other. We didn't get anywhere. Um, but when I started muting mics, asking questions and we did this professionally, we got somewhere. Um, so enjoy the next few minutes. I'm very happy that we've got it over the line. Uh, but as I say, it's extremely heated. Um, so yeah, subscribe to toe the line if you haven't already and enjoy the video. God bless. And we are live, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to toe the line with me, George Glinsky. Delighted today to be joined by Bashir Fakuri and Eric Olson, obviously a, a well-documented mm -hmm beef over the last couple of days i've seen bits and pieces i know that there was meant to be a, a call between you two and decker Hege. of course eric has, has said that he doesn't want to do it with decker so i've kind of stepped in as a mediator in this one um for those who don't know Bashir, i've seen obviously a few videos with decker but what has exactly happened here eric you go because we were mates i don't understand this has got like this this is serious you I want me to start like this Listen, Eric, we were all right, bro. Listen, am I the best professional boxer? No. Uh, would you beat me in a, in a real fight? Yes. Not in the street, though. Be careful. You wouldn't beat me. Wait, there. you wouldn't beat me. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Before I get carried away, you want me to explain what happened with me and you? Uh, apart from you asking me to look after your dog the other day, mate. Yeah. The other day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you wait, did you just, just well, hold on a moment? Listen, Calm Harry. down, relax. I understand you've had about 19 lines of fucking coke. Just relax. Yeah, yeah, did you just yeah, say that in the street? Did, did you just say that in the street you would beat me? Listen, did you just say that in the street you would beat me? Listen, did you just say that in the street you would beat me? I could. We just both go there. Did you just, just say? Up and I'll smash you straight in the head with a hammer, you <laughs> For what you said. <laughs> Did no, you no, just no, say? Guess in what? The street, you, said, you would say be I've got me. A mum. You're a fucking mug. Let's, you, did you, you just say in the street? So, do you want to fight me? Do you want to fight me in, this, in an overall yeah, fight test? If you really want to fight, listen. Do you really want it? Mm -hmm. Do you really want it? Uh, do you, know you want to set up an overall fight about, like King of the Street KG. on one of these organizations? Do you want to do I'm that? Yes or no? KG with tits bigger than my missus. What are you going to do? Do you want to? Do you do you want to set up a no rule street fight with me on one of these King of the Streets or Ultimate Underground fights in Denmark or one of these things? Respect the Do you, you want, you want to do that? Yeah. Listen, do you want to do that? Cut weight though. Do you want to do that? Yes or no? Cut some weight, you fat fuck. Listen, listen, calm down. I know that you're getting amped up to go deliver some kebabs. Relax. Yeah, listen, yeah, listen. do I live under a kebab shop? Yes, do you I want do. to set up a one-on-one -on -one fight with me on King of the Street or one of these underground organizations? You're not answering me. Yeah. You get listen, beaten up more times them. than you do coke. They're not happy with your... With, with you got you fired know. from King of the Street. Jim Is fired that? you from BKB because he said oh, you suck. I mean, we all say that. Shut BKB, up. BKB, you shut up. Fuck. You got fired. Yo, George, fuck. shut your mouth. Fuck your mother. Shut your mouth. Fuck your mother. Fuck your mother's mouth. Fuck your mother's, fuck your mother's mouth. You fuck your mother's yeah, mouth. You fuck off, your you mother's big, mouth. Birmingham. George, have you ever seen Bash yeah. win a fight? Yeah, I just George, have you ever seen Bash win a fight? They yeah, said, who gives a fuck? Have you ever seen Bash win a fight? Shut your mouth. Fuck your mother's mouth. George, have, George, have you ever that? seen Bash win a fight? Uh, listen, I yes. fight. I love violence. No, I actually have. George, have you ever I seen Bash win a I fight? I love violence, potato yes. heads. No, I, have. I love it. Check him out. Be careful. Check him out. I drink all week and I turn up and fight. George, everybody. have you ever everybody. seen Bash win a fight? Listen. Oh, listen, you come no, to my house. That's a heavy rapist and that's your friend. You support rapists. Listen, you support yeah, rapists. Listen, you support listen, rapists. Listen, DECA Heavy's a uh, rapist, listen, and you listen, ran to DECA. You called me out for an Instagram live, you crackhead. 
Really? Yo, every fight you get this, this, this is the prison. prison. George, this it's is the Bashir for Corey in every fight. Every birthday, you fucking <laughs> mouth. Can I bring me a kebab? A kebab. Bring me a kebab. A buy a word. I see words. See, I'm kind. Yeah. You're not kind. Wow. I would give you a kebab and suck your nipples. You know, what, all right, what so can you let? Right, I know, I know what the homoeroticness. I know that's your thing. What was it? Um, but <laughs> Eric, let, let's let Eric, 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 question Eric, because it's been eighteen God, minutes of this. I'm taking a piss out of you. So wait, wait, wait what, what did I say I about your kids, ask, Bash? I have to ask. What, you listen, this what you say? No, listen. Okay. Be careful because I don't want really to give the name. You call people nonces, and wait. you listen. You do, and you talk about people. Oh, I've muted both of you. Right. Bashir, I need to ask one question. You can't hear each other right now. I need to, I've worked out how to do this. Okay. So 85 kilograms, you've said you'll fight him at. Okay. I'm I'm literally gonna mute Eric throughout this whole thing. Okay. What are your terms? What promotion? How are we gonna get this done? I'm gonna unmute you and then I'm gonna unmute Eric afterwards. I'm taking the piss, okay. I'm taking it. I am taking the piss. Yeah, but only because he's fucking rude. I will find my. It has to be out of the country because he, he. Honestly, they're going to get him. They're going to get him. So this is the truth. So he couldn't be in this country. He couldn't be in this country. It couldn't be in this country. They don't like him. Oh, listen, Eric's actually. He's actually a good man. Really, he's just a fucking knob. He just calls people out. Really, but listen, I do. I think he's a sausage. Yeah, I don't really like him at all. Really, I think he's a disgusting human being. But actually, we probably could get on if it wasn't fucking uh, him being a knob. You know, listen, if he was, but if he has to lose some weight, he has to fucking lose some titties, you know, he has to lose can some titty weight. We, can, we, can we make this fight happen if it, it happens abroad? Well, you could do it here, but I don't think it's a safe place for him at the moment. And this is serious, you know? Okay. This is serious. Right, I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna mute you now and then bring Eric in. Okay, this is how okay. this is gonna work now. This is how this has to work. <laughs> right, Eric, you've heard yeah. that. Um, yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. In terms of in terms of responses, you're willing to fight at not 85 kilograms, you're willing to fight at no five. rules, no weight. He claims that he likes no rules, but now he wants rules. Now he wants weight. He's scared. This country, the United Kingdom, is weak. I've been in it for fucking seven years. You've watched me terrorize everyone in the motherfucker that I've gotten into it with. Bashir Fakori is nothing. Um, he wants rules in a fight he doesn't agree to. He won't agree to fight me on UUF. He won't agree to fight me on Come for Blood. He won't agree to fight me on King of the Streets, even though they fired him. They won't have him back. He wants to set it up in his mate's back garden or something. Stop now. I'll fuck you up. What was it? Um, he wants to fucking. He's an idiot. He doesn't really want a no rules fight because he wants a weight regulation. Why would I cut weight to murder Bashir for Corey? Yo, let me ask you something, George. Have you ever seen Bash win a no-rules fight or a bare-knuckle fight? Yes or no on BKB? Yes or no? Okay, BKB, no, but he did beat... I can't Have you ever seen him win a no-rules fight, excluding the kitty sucker punch? Yes or no? Okay, apart from that fight, no. That, but he did win that fight. I'll give him credit. He won that oh, fight. You mean, wait, he knocked out the guy when the, he sucker punched the guy and he won. Ooh, okay. But look, he doesn't really want to fight. Ask him about his kids. Ask him about that comment, because I'm really interested to know what I said. Okay, I'm now going to mute you, and then I'm going to ask Bashir what was said. Okay, this is this yeah. is how this has to work. Okay. Ask <laughs> right, I, ask, him, ask him how many you, fights he's won. I just don't give a fuck, mate. It's what a difference. Did, what Listen, did, I'm not a pro athlete. Fuck your record. Fuck your fat face. I don't give a toss. I just turn up to fight. We're not on BKB anymore, bro. I don't give a toss. I enjoy my life. I drink all weekend. I enjoy my life and I turn up and fight. And win or lose, I don't care. But in the real, real world, you get a hammer around your fucking chops. What did what did Eric say that, that pissed you off so much? What what was said? Uh listen, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but he's a sneaky motherfucker. He's very he's actually intelligent. Listen, Eric, I'm giving you a bit of clout here. He's actually quite an intelligent man. He is. Listen, Eric, you are. I don't really like you, but you. We were well, right. I did like you. I thought you were quite funny. but um, And you were you, you're quite commercial. Do you know what I mean? But let me tell you, he sends messages about things. I'm not going to repeat it because it's gone a bit far, too far. And you shouldn't say these things. Like when you say about your mum, we're 40 years old, mate. You're 38. You shouldn't say about I never spoke about your mum, have I? I haven't spoke about your mum. 
you know what I mean? Come on. You know? I haven't no, spoken about your mum. I haven't spoken about your shit. I've not really disrespected you, apart from calling you a fat fuck, which is, you know, that's just forever. You know, you shouldn't say these things, Eric, because it goes too far. But your titties do look nice. <laughs> so, uh, in your opinion, a fight could happen if he cuts down to a weight that is fair to you. That's that's what you're suggesting. I Just think 90 be... kg, then fuck it. Bro. 90 I, I kg. Don't give a toss, really. But I'm not getting him because he's a good wrestler. He's a clever motherfucker, this motherfucker. Yeah. Eric, you are clever because you know you can out wrestle me. You know that. You know he's that. Good... Just to be clear, you know you, you can out wrestle me. But you are you more? Nah, nah, nah. Are you more? Are you more violent than me? I don't think you really are. Really, but would you, you have box? One hundred and ten. No, oh, your boxing is shit. Your kickboxing is terrible. Absolutely terrible. But he's game, and he will stand. His potato head. His potato head can take a shot. I, I don't think he's that good a boxer, but he's got a good jab, and he stands his ground. You know, yeah. I do come from a professional background. Now I'm not a pro anymore. He would out wrestle me if he gets me on the floor and he sits down with his belly on me. I am fucked. But if I bite him, I mean, he says he bites. He doesn't bite. I've never seen him bite anybody. Yeah, and I mean, I've only bit one person, but I actually don't give a toss. He's I poke somebody. So what? Listen, his record ain't great either. Listen, who the fuck is he really for? Come on. Look at his BKB record. Fight Paul Hills. He would smash your head in, mate. He would take you clean out. You fought a couple of bums because you're friends with Jim and Joe, the flower pot men. And really, you're still with Jim and Joe, aren't you? BYFC, no. You're with Jim and Joe. You are. Do you you're think... a fake, mate. You listen, and the real people know you're with Jim and Joe, really, but they're pretending you're with another organisation. But you're not, because they're interlinked. See, when you actually have a bit of a brain, I don't have many brain cells left, but you can watch it and really see. This is what I'm saying, Eric. People know. Would you beat me in a no-rules fight? Maybe. If you, it may be because you're wrestling. Your boxing is terrible. I, I'm not, My boxing isn't good, but I'm definitely more heavy-handed than you. Your wrestling is bad. Your kickboxing is terrible. You kick like as if you're kicking a football. It's terrible. You have to, you couldn't kick over your waist, you fat fuck. So be sure, if you couldn't kick. You can't if he kick. comes in... Imagine he... you, like, imagine you. You have no movement. You you can't even move quick. You're like, she... you've got a lot like turning kick, but you're breaking she... you have to let me. You have to let me just clarify this. If he comes in at 110 kilograms, is what, which is what he's at right now, you will not take that fight, or will you take that fight? Uh, listen, 110 when I'm 75. Mm -hmm. Think about what you're saying as well. She's no, yeah. Stupid. Okay. Stupid. So if he wants to go then, that way, listen, rather than do this no rules, you see, yeah. this is what I'm saying. Listen, think about what you're saying. You're intelligent. I'm mm -hmm. 75 kg. He's 110. Are you trying to yep. set me up here? Because if we're going to go that way, why don't we just hit him with a fucking hammer? Because he's going to win. Obviously, he's 110 kg. I'm mm -hmm. 75. It's stupid. And if something goes wrong, okay, you're going to all look like mugs. It, mm -hmm. The weight difference is too big. If he loses some fucking weight, Okay, mm -hmm. it does something in the middle, meet in the middle. Eh? If I'm fighting too weak, it's the mm -hmm. wrong thing to be saying because what are you trying to say? I mean, anybody that actually watches this, you might not like me, he doesn't like me. It's stupid talk. Someone mm -hmm. that's 75 kg and somebody 110, do you want to fight each other? One's a wrestler, one's really just likes a punch up. Come on, it's starting to look stupid. That's what I mean. This is why I really look stupid. It's okay. stupid talk. So 90, 90 kilograms would be... You, well, even you, then, you know. I have to put on weight. Okay. So let's say... I do it, but I mean, I mean, you shouldn't be asking these stupid things because it's just stupid. No, it's I have stupid. to clarify these things. As you say, no rules, there's no weight classes. That's usually... Yeah, no, there I is really. Come you. on, let's not be stupid. Uh, there, is, there is fucking, you know, when I'm fighting a guy next week, we've agreed a weight of 85, you know. Yeah. There is rules. It, it, there Eric Olsen, the last guy you fought was 70 fucking 80. And listen, and, he, and once again, look at the last guy he called out. Mm -hmm. You know, the Nazi. He's fucking, he was about 80 kg. Once again, he's 110. Eric's a good wrestler. Mm -hmm. He is a good wrestler. And, you know, he comes from wrestling. It's like us playing football, you know. I'm not a good footballer, but he, they, they brought up doing it. Can he box? No. Can he fight? Yes. Is yeah. he a big potato head? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm now going to mute you and then speak to Eric. But as right, I say, right. 85 kilograms, I think we've clarified exactly what the terms are. So that's <laughs> that's that's fine. So I'm just going to mute you and unmute Eric. So the person that is calling you out around your weight, just you can go on in a second, but around your weight, Decker Heggie, 
Um, I saw that obviously Deck is a rapist. We don't know. Yeah. Deck is a rapist. I'm not Deck is a snitch. Decker had people arrested. I have the paperwork and he's a rapist. Police, confidential informants and rapists, I don't associate with. So Decker can go kill himself and Decker can go fuck his mother too. No. If I see Decker in the street and he wants to get busy, then he's going to get fucking ISIS beheaded. But aside from that, I'm not giving him any clout time with anything like that. As far as Bashir goes, all he talks about is no rules is no rules. Now he wants rules. No rules is no rules. Now he wants rules. So. Cool. Second thing. That's that's kind of irrelevant. Everyone knows he's scared. Everyone knows I'll kill him. I don't need to defend my boxing or kickboxing because all you need to do is watch his fights and watch mine. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. What was it? Obviously, I'd murder Bash at any weight or anything, but I'm not going to lose fucking 25 kilograms to kill Bashir. Secondly, where was the proof of what I said about his kids? He was on Facebook Live saying that I, I threatened to rape his children. I never did that. Where's the proof? He said, he said that he wouldn't say it, and there's no proof. So he said, where, where he said he didn't want to go into what was said. So that's. That's what he said. Okay, but I'm saying what he claims I said. Him and he sat on with a convicted rapist, Dega Heggy, the rapist, the snitch, the confidential informant. He sat with him and said that I threatened his children. He said this yesterday with the rapist. Hmm. Prove it. Where are the screenshots? Where are the voice notes? I've never threatened anyone's children physically, sexually, or violently. I have made fun of family men who act tough. If you have a profile picture, every picture on your page is you and your kid watching Peppa Pig, and you message me at two in the morning saying you're going to fuck me up or kill me, I will post the picture of you and your kid and say, this motherfucker with his inbred child threatening me when he's a family man. Go be a family man. Don't get murdered by me in the street. Be a family man. Be a family guy, because that's what you are. I never said this about Bash. I didn't even know Bash had kids. When I got that sent to me, the address, when Jim sent me the address, I, I didn't fucking post that knowing he had a kid. I actually wouldn't have posted it if I knew he had a kid, right? With that being said, I would never go to his house in the UK because I can't. There's cameras everywhere. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, there's zero proof I said anything about his children because I never did it. And I'm going to say this, and then you can let him go back. This is what it all stemmed from, because it's getting late now. It's 30 minutes into this. Of course. Me and Bash were cool for years. I liked watching him fight, whether he won or lost. I thought Bash was all right. He started posting videos beating up local drug addicts, kids with sores on their face, beating them up because they owed them for bags. Why are you giving drug addicts bags? If you've actually dealt drugs, you know who to sell to and who's going to rip you off. The kid's an addict. He doesn't need his face beaten in when he's harmless by you after you just lost the fight to feel big. Two, he put up a video beating up some old fat man in a pub, and he put a caption, don't rob me or my family. The guy never robbed him or his family. He did that so people would see it and get behind him. Oh, he fucked with your family. I get it. So he beat up some old guy in a pub, and I messaged him, and I said, yo, that's weak. I don't like seeing that bully shit. And he started talking about being part of some drug fucking clique that runs Birmingham, runs England, blah, blah, blah. And basically, he told me, you know, fuck you, Eric, blah, blah, blah. So I told him, look, I'm telling you, fuck your mother. Do something about it. He refused to fight me on UUF, on Come for Blood. He doesn't want to actually set up a fight. He wants to set up like a smokescreen of meet me in my best friend's basement. Obviously, you know that's not going to happen because I'll murder your best friend in his basement and I'll get deported. It's two, he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't really. That, then he's saying we're going to get him in the street. He knows where I'll be. He knows where I train. He's not getting anything in the street. He keeps talking about pneumonia in the eyes and hammers to the head. Bash. And I'm not even trying to be a prick here when I say this. Watch how you actually fight in your no rules fight. You throw one kick, a punch, you miss. If you hit me, you'd break your hand. You fall on the floor and you pull the fetal position and then you get stomped. So if you actually encountered me up at fucking Tesco with a hammer, I would take it from you and I would beat you to death. And I think you know that, George. And I think everyone knows that. 
But this fucking guy is going crazy now, so I'm going to keep breaking his balls. But here's the biggest thing. There's no proof of anything ever being said about his kids. And yo, Bash, as much as you're a fucking loser and I don't like you, you're, you're associating with DECA. DECA has multiple arrests for sexual assaults on girls 16 and up and 16 and younger. He's been convicted of one of them. He, this is a true thing. And he's written statements on people. He got Danny Christie 18 months. He got fucking uh, this other guy, Anthony. I forgot his last name. It's in my messenger time. His name is on orders of protection. And you're associating with this bash. I get it. We don't like each other. Cool. But you're associating with a guy who has sex crimes on girls above and below 16. Don't let your hatred for me blind you to the fact that that guy is a pervert and a pedophile. Now, you're not a sex offender, Bash. I never said you were, because you're not. But don't associate with a sex offender snitch like Decca Heggy. And that's all I'm going to say about Decca. And that's what happened with Bashir and me. And now Bashir and me, he blocked me. And we're in an internet war posting shit, talking shit all fucking day. He doesn't want an actual no rules fight with me under an actual no rules organization. He just keeps saying he's going to find me and throw pneumonia in my eyes. <laughs> what can I do with that? Okay, do it. I'll give, I will give the final word and then we'll close this all off. I'll give the final word to Bashir. That's your final word, Eric, if you're happy with that. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'll mute you. Unmute Bash. This is Bash, right? Bash, yeah, I'll give you the final it. word on all of this. This is I asked you first. Let's so let's, let's do this then, Eric. Listen, listen. I've got something coming up in two weeks. Listen, I just enjoy violence. Forget about my record. You love like disrespecting people. You know, let's just do this. Let's have a punch up. You know, and I'll shake your hand after. How about that one? And then afterwards, listen. I'll buy you a donut, and um, I'll suck your tits. <laughs> do you want to do it or not? And oh, fuck your way. Do you know what? Let's get to. I know you're 190 kg. I mean, 110 kg. That's what I meant. Sorry. Um, why don't we get to what? What weight can you get to? To be fair, come on, lose some weight, Eric. Because you, you know, you know, you're a good wrestler. So come on, let's so play you, the game. I'll unmute. I'll mute you. I'll mute him, and he'll tell you what weight he can get to. Okay. This would be like five seconds, and I'll jump back to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Eric, what weight? 110 kilograms, and I'm taking double the amount of trend. No rules is no rules, no weight. And I'm taking double the amount of trend. So you're not willing to go below 110 kilograms, just to be clear? No weight. No weight. No rules is no rules. No weight, no weight. And I'm taking double trend. I'm going to inject four times the amount of trend. Okay, right. I'm gonna ask Bash. Oh, listen, this is listen. I, I love the fact that you admit you take steroids because it's cold. Um, I love it, and that's why you got tits. <laughs> that's why you have titties. But listen, I'll tell you what. Listen, let me get this out of the way. Honestly, Eric, I think you're a fucking knob, but I think we could be all right after. So why don't you take some more trend? Make those tits as big as you can get them because I really want them on my face. I love them. We can put some baby oil on them and everything before, before we fight. Um, <laughs> listen, any way you want it. But I've got something else to deal with at the moment. I know you've got no fights on apart from a box of fight in Glasgow, which we all know where that is. And you keep telling me to go there. It's not going to happen. Um, but you're a clever motherfucker and you think that scares people, it doesn't. Um, listen, but where's it going to be? <clears throat> anything. Listen, any way you want. But don't. The only thing I'm going to say is, please, don't stick your titties too big in my mouth, because I could choke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Listen, any, I'll tell you so, what, no, no, listen, on a serious note, let's stop fucking about. Yeah. I'm going to send you some Novadex, yeah, because that, that stops the titties. When you take lots of trend, it stops the titties growing too big. <laughs> it does. So that's what we do. Fuck you, I'll so, fight you. I don't give so a fuck. You, so it do, the weight now doesn't matter to you? Or, or oh, listen, this is getting ridiculous. Actually. It's becoming like EastEnders. It's becoming like EastEnders. You know, take as much trend as you want. Okay, yeah. trend is by it. Bad. By the way, and also, if you take lots of trend, you can't get it up, just so you know. But you know the decks you do need when you take trend. Also, a little bit of test, a little bit of testosterone. You need it because otherwise you have problems. with Your balls shrink and shit like that, you know. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what I'll do now, 
Like and listen, no, 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 not one more last thing. He does need cool. HCG as well, so I'm going to sort this cycle out for him. He needs <laughs> Trent, Test, HCG, and some Novadex. But he doesn't know what he's talking about. So take lots of Trent. That's why you have tits. Anyway. <laughs> I will let you both go. Um, it's been a yeah. very entertaining call. Um, one of the most entertaining calls I think I've been a part of. And um, I, I'm now going to remove you both from the call and conclude it. Okay. <laughs> like a true professional. So Bashir, thank you for your time. Eric, thank you for your time. Wait. Titties. I like your titties. Yeah. One second. Listen, I think Eric... take, take, take some more trends. Eric, nice Eric do you want to say something? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. He refused. All of what he said, he did did he agree to fight on any organization? Yes or no? Wait. It's true, because I don't want your titties. Did he agree? George, he didn't even agree now. to fight I on any organization. Now, fight you, but he I did, don't he didn't agree. Friend, because honestly, oh, see, he won't agree, George. Go hang, hang out with your rapist friend. Go hang out with your rapist friend. Let's do it then, Eric. Listen, I'm agreeing. Where? But don't take Mark, the in the streets in the US. Context. Come for blood. Where? Because your balls will shrink. I see. He won't. He won't answer. And your face gets he won't fatter. agree and <laughs> give an actual answer. George, George, you heard him not give an answer, right? I have something else to do. Not too much strength. Share, please. His balls will shrink. Just to be clear, because you have said agree a couple of times. Just I'll send you. I'll tell you what. Give me your address. Like I've got your. You've got mine, and I'll send you some Novadex. I'll send you some HCG, and I also <laughs> I'll send you some bits so that your titties don't get too big. Anyway, love ya. He's left. It's just you and me, Bashir. Okay, <laughs> have a good one, mate. <laughs> See you later, pal. <laughs> See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> for the stream. Um. As you can see, I kind of lost control of that call. I'm sure I'm going to have a, a conclusion at the start of the video. I'm not even sure if this went live. I tried to pre-record it. Um, I will be sort of cutting down some of the conversation that was had at the start. Um, it's a lot of back and forth, a lot of just general riffraff um, before I was able to mute the mics and we managed to get some sort of a, a fight going. Um, what I will say is this. It seems as though... From my perspective, Bashir initially wanted to fight at 85 kilograms, which, again, fair enough. You know, um, there's weight classes for a reason. But Eric is arguing from his standpoint that it's no rules, so there shouldn't be any weight classes. Um, I think, and again, it, was, it wasn't clear with all of the, the conversation. I think they have agreed to fight 110 kilograms. As I say, you guys, you can watch it. You can understand Um it's so hard when you've got two people shouting at you. As I say, guys, I've tried my best here. I've done all I can. Um, and that's, that's your video. So God bless. <laughs>